Hey everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, Merc here with another YouTube video. Um, yeah, for your enjoyment. So, sorry it's been a week. Just been kind of going around, do, working on some projects. And um, yeah, but I really wanted to just take a moment this lovely Friday evening to go over some Llama Index stuff that I am kind of trying to explore more. Um, talking to documentation. I'm sure there's tools out there. If there are, please let me know because I would love to use them and not try to rebuild the wheel. Um, Nonetheless, I think it is important just to kind of uh, flex that muscle because I think Llama Index and Langchain are both going to be libraries that are going to be very important for us uh, when developing uh, large language model applications. So with that being said, I am just going to get into it. Uh, we are going to be using Llama Hub's uh, unstructured URL loader to load documents from the Remotion documentation. Remotion is just uh, it's a it's a library for making videos with React programmatically. Um, I just picked this because I was kind of looking at different libraries for making videos. Just I, I have some other ideas for things I want to do that might be more complex. Um, and creating content uh, would be a very cool thing to do. Um, other than that, we are doing the good old Llama Index and. Yeah, Streamlit for the front end because it's easy and it's better than the terminal. Uh, but yeah, before I get into this, I'm just going to show you the code and kind of explain what I did. Uh, yeah, so for this, we have a couple functions we need to know about. Uh, first one is honestly just this one. So, uh, well, yeah, this one is the first one. So, in in my in my in my GUI, I am pasting that the URL of the documentation. Uh, where the documentation is being hosted and I'm loading all the documents into a GPT simple vector index. Um, I'm saving this locally again just because this is uh, more just a show show and tell kind of thing not really trying to like store this in a vector database if I wanted to probably would use like pinecone um, maybe weaviate I, I haven't explored weaviate as much but yeah so let's just get into what I did. Um, so as you get, so I, so like I said, I paste the URL that I want to read from. I load the documents. It's going to call this function. It's, that takes one URL. Uh, to get all the other URLs, I just made a simple scrape function. Um, you'll definitely have to check the documentation uh, that you're trying to scrape to see if it's structured the same way. Uh, for me, I found this check usually helps. Um, if it starts with a forward slash uh, in the HRF, in all the A tags, or in with a hashtag. Let me just zoom in a bit. This might be easier. Um, but yeah. So, let's see. So we're just taking the URL, we're scraping it, and we're getting an array of URLs back. And why that's important is because for the Llama Hub's uh, URL loader, it takes an array of URLs. And what do we get from this function? We get an array of URLs. So after that, I have imported the beautiful soup web reader and uh, from, from Llama index, and I am loading that up. And I'm getting all the documents from those URLs. Now, this part is new, parser, and the nodes, so the simple node parser. I didn't know about this. This could be new. If, if it is, then someone please let me know. But I've just been kind of, um, I was walking through here. I was like, oh, parse the documents into nodes. And I still am not like really sure exactly, like I'm not gonna say I'm 100% sure on like how these are different from documents or whatever. It just says like it represents chunks of source documents and you can add like different metadata, all this cool stuff. But it just says, yeah, this is all I needed to know. Nodes are first class, are first classes in the Llama index. I'm like, say no more. I'm going to do it. Um, so that's what I did. After that, we get our LLM predictor from the LLM predictor class in Llama index's library. We load up our OpenAI large language model, temperature zero, because we want these responses to be pretty, pretty accurate and using the DaVinci uh, three model with our open API key. I already had that loaded. Um, next I am just using a prompt helper to help me chunk up the documents. So I don't have to worry about 
doing all the chunky myself or like i know like link chain like use like the uh like the recursive text splitters and stuff like that sometimes to chunk up stuff this just seems like super easy to me uh so that's why i like it and next we are loading our service context and if you're curious service context i i was i was actually uh yeah i didn't know about this either um this could also be new or i'm just you know not looking <laughs> But either way, it is just pretty much just a object of like all the canonical things you would load into your uh, vector index or your, your index of choice uh, in llama index. So I think it's just a good way for it to be more modular if you want to like put plug things in and out. Um, and this looks so much cleaner. Um, but yeah, so after that, uh, we are getting our index. We're creating a GPT simple vector index and putting our nodes and the service context. After that, again, I am just saving this to disk. I am not saving this to Pinecone or Weaviate or anything. Right now, this is just more of a quick video. And yeah, so I've already done that and I don't want to do it again uh, because it was a bit, I just, uh, I, it was just a lot of, uh, a lot of vectors as you can see. So I'm not doing it again, but believe me, the function works. <laughs> Moving on though. All there is left to do is just query query things now. So if we come here, and I still have this running because I was asking it a question, which this is actually super cool that it can do this. Um, it can. This is why I wanted to do it because I, I I'll explain this all like my closing thoughts at the end and why I think this is super exciting. Um, but basically, I'm I'll just ask it another question just for. For demonstration purposes so what kinds of video files does remotion support okay so this is part any what can i can i edit a video from my React app using Remotion. I wish I'd be specific just because I'm sure it's not. Uh, all right, let's see. Uh, so to edit a video from your React app using Remotion, you will need to install the Remotion packaging using either npm install, but once installation is complete, you can use Remotion's API programmatically to edit a video. Show me a function that I can use to edit a video using Remotion. And disclaimer, this isn't the actual like API reference. This is like their docs. So it may not have access to all like the, uh, like any like endpoints or anything like that. So we'll just see what happens. But at the very least you can explain things to me. Okay, so the Remotion API reference provides paid, provides Page provides a list of functions that can be used to edit videos. Function includes set source video, set video volume. Okay. What does set video source do in Remotion? I don't have any chat memory in this, so that's why I'm being specific as well. It's not a function in Remotion, so it's not possible to answer your question on prior knowledge. Okay, so maybe I just typed it wrong. Um, how can I call uh, write me a function in code to use Remotion for editing a video? Below is an example. I'm, I'm just going to pull this up here because it's formatted here. So, so this can be used to edit video using Remotion. Video await remote. And if, okay, so yeah, this is why I was pretty excited about this. Um, uh, just because I think it's easier to get up to speed on all this kind of stuff. Um, I'm also just trying to learn more about Llama Index because from my understanding and from what I've read and listened to, 
Langchain is good and is more uh, powerful for like doing things sequentially and composing things together. It also has agents, which are very powerful. Uh, while Llama Index is focused on um, routing queries and loading data and like optimizing for that. So they have all these different structures of vectors or of indices that you can use. Um, so I think it's good to, I think they complement each other really nicely. And that's why I'm trying to up my learning on both sides. Um, that's all for this video. So if you have any suggestions on what I could do better, uh, what you'd like to see next, um, any questions, drop them in the comments below. Hate comments, yeah, don't care. Uh, engagement is engagement. Subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, till next time, there's no outro, so uh, goodbye.